Good morning. I want to welcome you to uh, worship service, second Sunday worship service at Happy Home Missionary Baptist Church where I serve as pastor. My name is Terrence Hambrick. I want to uh, bring some hope to you, help you through the day, help you through the week. Nothing like good church, nothing like a word of acclamation and confirmation from the Lord. We thank him, we worship him, we praise him. He's worthy to be praised, and we just have a hallelujah time in the Lord. Um, hope mm -hmm. you have your Bibles and, and um, some paper and a pen so you can take some notes. And we just want to be a blessing to you uh, this morning, be a blessing to you. If you would, before we get started, let's let's sing a little song. I, I, I uh, Pastor, love to sing a little song here. Um, hold the God's unchanging hand. Time is filled with swift transition. Mm -hmm. No on earth unmoved can stand. Well, build your hopes on things eternal. Hold to God's unchanging hand. You got to hold to his hand. God's unchanging hand. You got to hold to his hand. God's unchanging hand. Build your hopes on things eternal. Hold to God's unchanging hand. Mm -hmm. Trust in him who will not leave you. Whatsoever years may bring, if by earthly friends forsaken, mm -hmm, still more closely to him cling. Well, you got a hold to his hand. God's unchanging hand, you got to hold to his hand. God's unchanging hand, build your hopes on things eternal. Hold to God's unchanging hand. Yes, 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 hold to God's unchanging hand. He's our hope. He's our everything. Amen. Amen. Let us have a word of prayer. Gracious and divine Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this day of this opportunity to worship and praise you. We're so glad and so thankful for whatever comes our way. We thank you, Lord. We know that you're with us and, and we're holding to your unchanging hand. We hold it on. We hold it on. Now, Lord, we pray for those that are going through. We pray for those that are coming out of the storm and we pray for those that are preparing for the storm. So, Lord, we just know that everything's going to be all right. No matter what's going on right now, you in total control and we worship you and we praise you forevermore. Now, Lord, we ask that you bless those in the hospital, those in the nursing home, those is in the jails and the prisons, Lord. Continue uh, to go there, uh, to visit and, and, and touch their hearts, oh Lord. Those hearts that might be hard and cold, warm them up, Lord, that they receive you into their hearts and be uh, followers and disciples of yours. And in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Let everyone say amen. Amen. We welcome all our listeners and and encourage you to continue holding on to the Lord and continue to uh, allowing him to bless you. Let us turn in our Bibles, amen, to um, the book of Psalms, the book of Psalms, looking at the 23rd chapter of the book of Psalms, looking at the 23rd chapter, amen. There 
you will find in the book of Psalms, the 23rd chapter, our key verse. I'm going to read the whole six verses, but our key verse is going to be the fifth verse. The fifth verse. Amen. The fifth verse. And that fifth verse reads like this. Thou prepareth the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil and my cup runneth over. My cup runneth over. Amen. I, I want to, to use as a theme, my cup runneth over. My cup runneth over. My brothers and sisters, I know that while we're going through what we're going through, the Lord is with us. He knows what you're dealing with. He knows the situations in your life. He knows the circumstances that you're faced with. He knows you. He, he created us. And, and, and I stopped by to tell you today and encourage you, my brothers and sisters, to keep holding on to God's hand because everything's going to be all right. He going to bring you through what you're going through. I know some of you are dealing with sicknesses. I know some of you are dealing with finances. I know some of you are dealing with marital problems and, and boyfriend and girlfriend problems. And some of your, your parents are dealing with uh, parental problems with your children and, and, and trying to rear them up and, and, and they're being rebellious. And, 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 and some of you are experiencing um, the loss of loved ones. But I'm here to tell you, Keep your hand in God's hand and, and he is going to bring you through. You just hold on. Trust him. Allow him to work through you and everything eventually will be all right. You might not see it now, but if you keep on holding on, if you keep on trusting in him, everything's going to be all right. I just stopped by today from Happy Home Missionary Baptist Church, shouting out to my members. Pastor, love you. Pastor, encourage you to keep on keeping on. Ah, don't let the devil mess you up. Don't let him sidetrack you. You keep on holding on. You hold on to the foundational truths and the, and, 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 and the foundation that Jesus Christ, he came, he died, he rose on the third day for you and I. He knows what you're going through. He knows what you're dealing with. You just hold on. Everything eventually is going to be all right. The pieces of the puzzle is going to fit together. You just hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Listen, listen. A cup that overflows speak of abundant blessings of the Lord. Amen, somebody. God blesses us abundantly and he overflows our cup daily. Amen. Amen. Uh, to have our cup full means that we have enough. And to some, they are satisfied with just enough. But God has chosen you and I. Good God Almighty. He has chosen you and I to give us more than enough. He, he, he suffice whatever we need. Amen. You just got to trust him. You, you just got to believe that uh, he's a healer. You got to believe that he's a provider. You got to believe that, that, that he's able to, to bring you through what you're going through. When I look at St. John's, the, the, the 10th chapter, and it says, I, I am come that they might have life and, and that they might have it more abundantly. When I look at that, it don't say just enough. It says abundantly. When you look at the word abundant, my sisters and brothers, it's more than, than, than enough. It's plentiful. Amen. Trusting and holding on to God will be a blessing. It will be plentiful. So, so you might not have what you think you need right now, but you definitely got what you, what, 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 you might not have what you want, but you definitely got my sisters and brothers what you need. Amen. Amen. Uh, I'm reminded of, of Ephesians, the third chapter in the 20th verse. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Amen. What power is that? What power is that, Pastor? That's the power of Jesus Christ. 
working in you and I. To have our cups running over means that we are so blessed that we cannot contain the blessings. Good God Almighty. David reminds us here in Psalms that God is a God of preparation. He has prepared the anointing for us that we might fulfill our purpose in serving him. He has prepared more than we will ever be able to use. Amen. Amen. Just, just trust him. Just, just, just trust him. Allow him to work through you and in you. Amen. When, when I continue to look at this and, 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 and I, during the week I was studying. Amen. Excuse me. My allergies are, are acting up on me, but, 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 but the devil is a lie. I'm going to continue to teach and preach this. When I was studying this through the week and preparing, you know, I was asking the Lord, what, what would you have me to, to say to your children? What would you have me to do? And as I was looking at this and, and in Psalms, I started reading. As a matter of fact, I went over to the hundredth Psalm. It says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye the land. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is as that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people, good gracious alike, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into the courts with praises. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. And, and, and the, fifth, the fifth verse, I, I love that. The fifth verse says, 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 for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. His truth endures to all generations. That's 100 Psalms. As I was reading that, and as the Lord was speaking to me in my spirit, I started getting excited, y'all. I started, I started rejoicing in the Lord. Amen, somebody. You know, the Lord's got a way of, 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 of making everything all right. Some people say, you know, you ask them when you see them, you say, brother, sister, how you doing? First thing they say, I'm fine. All H-E double hockey stick could be going on in their lives. Everything can be sideways and upside down. But their first reaction to you is, uh, I'm mm -hmm. fine. Knowing that everything's not fine. Listen. We serve a God who's able. We serve a God who's able to keep us. We, we serve a God who's able to, to deliver us from whatever we're dealing with. Now, let me say this and let me be clear about it. Just because we're saved don't mean we ain't going to have troubles. Amen. He said, he said in St. John, amen, that we were going to have trouble in the 16th chapter and the 33rd verse. He said, be of good cheer. He said, I've overcome this world. But while you're going through what you're going through. <laughs> oh, while you're going through what you're going through. I'm going to be with you. I will bring you through it. But you got to trust me. You got to hold to my unchanging hand. You got to allow me to work it out. As a matter of fact, I've already worked it out. You just got to trust me enough to realize and understand that everything's going to be all right. Oh, my brothers and sisters, God is a real God. And I just stopped by to tell you, hold on, don't give up. I know you're going through something, but hold on to see what the end is going to be. David talks about this Thanksgiving. David had come to the latter part of his years and now he looked back over his life. He said, be thankful. 
He exclaimed this, my cup runneth over. Good God. We can hardly read any of David's hymns of song, of, of praise without hearing him thanking God. This is especially true in Psalm 23. Listen, 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 listen. Let me, let me take you there. Let me, let me take you there. Psalms 23. Listen to me. Look at, look at the, look at the first verse. The Lord <laughs> is my shepherd. Good God Almighty. The Lord is my shepherd. Yeah. I, 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 I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Good God. Y'all don't hear me. I will fear no evil. For thy art, thy rod, and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepareth the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Yeah, yeah. Of my enemies. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like that. Thou anointest my head with oil. Yeah, my cup runneth over. Surely, <laughs> I like that six. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Well, my sisters and brothers, I stopped by the tape. That you got to hold on to the Lord. I found out that. If you thank him. Uh, when you thank him. It makes room for God to do more for you. In your life. Oh, when Thanksgiving comes. Mm, David. Said you should be. Uh, happy. And grateful for what God does for you. Yeah. Our aim as we embrace Thanksgiving and those, yeah, uh, that are thankful for what God does. You should not be complaining. Come on. I hear folk all the time complaining. Yeah. Complaining about this. And complaining about that. But complaining is contagious. Can I talk about complaining for a moment? I I'm trying to help somebody get to heaven. Complaining is contagious, my sisters and brothers. It spreads. And complainers usually stick together. Like birds of a feather flock together. They feed. Each other. Complaining is critical. It, it attacks. Complaining is not limited. To situation. It moves people. Complaining is. Captivating. And it seizes. The opportunity. To take over. Complaining spirits. Become deeply rooted. Oh y'all don't hear me. Yeah. Yeah, uh, complaining is costly. It, it isolates you. Complaining spirits will drive others away from you. Nobody want to be around a person who's always complaining. Amen. Complaining is corrupt. It, 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 it will have you being disobedient. You will have a spirit of disobedience and uh, you would disobey the commands of the Lord. We've got to do what the old hymn of the church says. Think of his goodness. Think of his goodness to you. If ever you are tempted to fret, 
our complaints. Uh, fret all complaints. Think of his goodness to you. Uh, this is what David did in this song. It moves him to say, my cup runneth over. Good God Almighty. How many of us today can say that our cup runneth over? How many of us today can say, ah, uh, all of us should, but some don't. The law has been good to you and I. Mm, mm, mm. Well, I got a few things I want to talk about, and then I'm going to get out of your way. The first thing I want to talk about is uh, we need to consider my cup runneth over with love. Yeah. David was a shepherd himself, but, but therefore he knew uh, the love of the shepherd. Yeah. A love that was willing to face storms and cold and even risk his life to care for the sheep and provide their needs. A love that seeks ah the good shepherd himself, Jesus. He 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 eh, when the one went astray, he left the ninety-nine safe. Amen. Uh the ninety-nine safe sheep in the wilderness and search the mountain for the one gone astray. And he does the same thing for you and I. Good God Almighty. A love that secures us. When I look at St. John, the 10th chapter and the 11th verse, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me and I will give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish, neither shall any pluck them out of my hand. Well, my sisters and brothers, I want you to know that God, mm, yeah, he's able. You just got to trust him. Yeah, my cup runneth over with love. Yeah, the next thing I want to tell you, my sisters and brothers, is my cup runneth over with providential care. Not only do I have love, for God's children. Oh, but I got providential care from God. Good God Almighty. Mm. He gives me love. He gives me providential care. Uh, the Lord provides and supplies all my needs. And I shall not want. <laughs> That's what the scripture says. Uh, thou prepareth the table before me. Sometimes our greed and pride blinds us, my sisters and brothers, to the thousand mercies that are ours for the asking. He will supply uh, all our needs. Some blessings he has to allow us time to grow into those blessings. We're not prepared to handle those blessings. Well, pastor, what are you talking about? I'm talking about when, when we get, sometimes we, we get beside ourselves. Sometimes we, when life is good, he's, he's so good to us. We forget about it. Yeah. We have to realign ourselves. We have to repent and, and, and get back in line. And we're able to receive and able to handle the blessing that, that he blesses us with. Listen, the Lord blesses us so that we can be a blessing to somebody else. It's a perpetual thing. It goes on and on and on. Listen, uh, he just don't want to bless you and you, you keep all the blessing to yourself. He wants you to, to, to let folk know how good he is. He, he wants to let folk know that, that, that he's able to bless you like he's blessed somebody else. And he wants us to be a blessing to somebody else. Come on now. Amen. Amen. 
Listen. It was the same time David in Psalm 37, 25 said. I, 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 I was looking at this. So I, I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been praying. I've been, I was searching and the Lord was speaking through his word. Psalm 37. Listen, listen, listen to what David said. David said, I was young and now I am old. Good God Almighty. Yet, I have never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. In other words, sisters and brothers, I was young and, and, and now I'm old, and I ain't never been hungry. God's always provided for me. Amen, somebody. God's always blessed me. Amen, amen, amen. Uh, uh, some folks say, well, I didn't have what I wanted to eat, but I, I had some food. Well, you had exactly what you needed to eat. Amen. God prepared for you. Amen. He provided for you. Amen. Psalm 37, 25. He provides. He is Jehovah Jireh. He is a provider. Good God Almighty. Ah, I'm feeling my help coming on. I'm trying to teach this, y'all. I'm I'm trying to teach it. I don't want to. I don't want to. I'm trying to teach it. The third point that I want to bring out to you and talk about, my sisters and brothers, is my cup runneth over with comfort. Uh, my cup runneth over with love that God gives me. My cup runneth over with providential care from him. And thirdly, my cup runneth over with comfort. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Good God Almighty. Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Thou art with me. Yeah, uh, he's with you. No matter where you go, no matter what you're doing, Sometimes we come in contact with folk that might not necessarily have our well-being in mind. Uh, but you got to trust uh, the Lord. <laughs> you got to lean uh, uh, a little bit closely and on him. I wish I had a praying church about right now. Yeah, you got to learn uh, uh, to allow him uh, uh, to be uh, a guide for you and I. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, my cup runneth over with comfort from the Lord. Have you ever been uh, restless at night, uh, uh, lying in the bed, uh, lying on your back, uh, looking up at the ceiling? You try to close your eyes and it seems like your sleep has gone. Seems like you can't get comfortable in the bed. Ah, uh, you turn uh, to the left. Ah, uh, you turn to the right. Uh, and it feels like uh, you're still uncomfortable. And the Lord, uh, yeah, the Lord, <laughs> it seems like he just put his hands underneath you. Mm. And make the bed more fluffy. That you can get relaxed. Uh, and once you get relaxed, uh, you fall asleep immediately. Well, <laughs> my cup runneth over. Because I know the Lord uh, will comfort me. Mm. Uh, finally, uh, yeah, my cup runneth over with assurance. What are you talking about, Brother Pastor? I will dwell uh, in the house of the Lord mm -hmm, forever. Well, what do you mean? Surely, ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, surely uh, goodness and mercy shall follow me 
all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Yeah, yeah. Well, how do we respond to a cup that's running over with blessings? I want you to see as I give you an illustration. Take a saucer, take a coffee cup, and you set the coffee cup on the saucer, and you pour some coffee into the cup, and as you're pouring coffee into the cup, and you keep on pouring, you don't stop when you get to the top, but you keep on pouring. That's the blessings of of the Lord for you and I. Y'all don't hear me. Well, let me keep on trying to convince you here. Let me argue my case a little more longer. Well, how do you respond to a cup that's running over with blessings? Yeah. Let me turn to Psalms uh, 116, uh, could God Almighty uh, let me look there uh, for a moment, uh, let me look around about uh, the ninth verse, uh, how do you respond uh, to a cup uh, that is running over uh, with blessings, uh, yeah, the ninth verse say, I will walk mm, before the Lord uh, in the land of the living. I'll be a testimony. Well, well, take me to the 13th verse in that same book, in that same chapter. Psalm 116 verse 13 says, I will take the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord, could God Almighty, and the 14th verse says, it will pay my vows unto the Lord, now in the presence of all the people, yeah, but when I look at the 17th verse, I say, I will offer thee the sacrifice of thanksgiving. Could God Almighty, I will call upon the name of the Lord. Why should we do all of this, Pastor Hambrick? I'm glad you asked me because of what he did for David in Psalms 116 in around about the first and the second verse. He said, I love the Lord because he had heard my voice and my supplications. David said also in the second verse because he had inclined his ears unto me Therefore, will I call upon him as long as I live? Could God Almighty, I love the Lord. Yes, I do. And I will call on him. I love the Lord because he heard my voice and my supplications because he has inclined his ears uh, unto me. Uh, therefore will I call uh, unto him uh, as long as I live. Uh, could God Almighty. Uh, I used to hear Grandmama uh, Cleota Allman uh, when she used to say this. Uh, I love the Lord. He heard my cry uh, and he pitied every groan. Uh, long as I live uh, and trouble rise, uh, I hasten mm, uh, 
to his throne. Oh, my brothers and sisters, I can tell when my cup is running over. He satisfied me in times of wound. I can tell when my cup is running over. He guides me in times of confusion. I can tell when my cup is running over. He teaches me in times of my ignorance. I can tell when my cup is running over. He keeps me in times of danger. He keeps me too early when I'm traveling down the road for an accident. He keeps me too late. Yeah, for an accident. When I go into my home, there's no intruders there waiting on me. When I'm sleep in my bed, he dispatches guardian angels to watch over me. Yeah, I can tell when my cup is running over, he keeps me in times of danger. I can tell when my cup is running over, he refreshes me in times of conflict. Well, I'm glad mm, I know him. I'm glad mm, uh, the Lord is able to bring me through what I'm going through when I'm almost through. But before I leave, I want to share something with you. Well, I started looking at this thing uh, a little bit closely. I said, Lord, uh, yeah, I remember when my mama tell me, she talked to us. She said, I, when I was carrying you, uh, yeah, you was a big child. Uh, but when I was carrying you, uh, I had a whole bunch of morning sickness. I said, Lord, have mercy. But let me show you something. Uh, while she was carrying me, the Lord uh, kept his hand uh, on her hand. Uh, the Lord uh, held her uh, while she was carrying me. Uh, I was a star and a twinkle in my mama and daddy eye. Uh, but the Lord uh, was carrying her through what she was going through. Well, what are you saying, preacher? Uh, I'm simply saying this. Uh, I thank God God, for what he has done. Yeah, listen to this. I look at the human body and I notice something. I feel my help coming on. I notice when the Lord created us, he gave us eyes to see. Mm -hmm. He gave us two eyes to see with. He gave us feet to walk. He gave us ears to hear. Yeah. He gave us two ears, two eyes. So that's very important. He gave us one tongue to speak with. And he knew exactly what he was doing, my sisters and brothers. He knew that some folk couldn't control their tongue. He gave us one tongue to speak with. Well, can I go a little bit farther? He gave us... When he orchestrated, uh, when he created us, uh, 263 bones uh, in our bodies, uh, 600 muscles, uh, yeah, uh, that made up our bodies, uh, 970 miles uh, of blood vessels, uh, yeah, uh, 32 feet uh, of intestines, uh, 32 teeth in your mouth, eyes like a camera. Every time you look at something and blank your eyes, you're flashing your camera and it goes to your brain. Well, yes, the Lord is able to bring you through what you're going through. Hold on, hold on 
to see what the end is going to be. Trust him. Trust him at his word. Be what he's called you to be. Let him lead you. Let him guide you. God is able. God is able. Trust him. Trust him. My cup runneth over. My cup runneth over. Only the Lord could do that. Only the Lord can bring you through what you're going through, my sisters and brothers. Trust him. <coughs> Lean on him. Depend on him. I'm talking to somebody right now. I'm talking to you. If you don't know the Lord in your heart, if you have not received him in your heart, now's the time. Listen, listen. He's standing with open arms, wanting to receive you. All you got to do is say, yes, I believe. All you got to do is repent of all your sins. Just say, I, I forgive me of all my sins. That's all you, you ain't got to count all your sins because it's impossible. You can't do it. The difference between believers and unbelievers is simply this. Believers are saved by the grace of the Lord. By the grace. And unbelievers have not received that grace. That's the only difference. Listen. As long as you live, you're going to be imperfect. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to sin. But you ain't got to be a rep. Uh, uh, you ain't got to be a practitioner of sin. Okay, amen, somebody. If you sin, repent and go. Live life. My cup runneth over. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you. Let us pray, gracious and divine Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this word. We thank you for this acclamation and confirmation. Now, Lord, we ask that you touch somebody's heart. Somebody who's going through something. Somebody who's who, who feel all alone. Somebody who is experience a sickness, going through a disease, going through a problem, family problems, on their job, they're dealing with, with their bosses. Uh, have thine way, Lord. We continue to pray for our governmental leaders. We pray for our president, vice president. We pray for our governor and Lieutenant Governor, we pray for the Congress and the Senate. We pray mm -hmm. for uh, commissioners and mayors and chief of police and sheriffs and uh, our law enforcement across this land. We pray for those health care workers that are on the front lines dealing with folk through this pandemic. Continue to strengthen us and bless us. In the mighty name we pray. The name of Jesus Christ, our risen Lord and Savior. Let every heart say, Amen. God bless you and may God keep you. Until the next time.